In this video, we're going to check out Mad Little Pixel's 200 gigabyte Odroid ORA RetroPie version 1.1. I've done a video on this in the past, and uh, here we go, one of the first pre-loaded images. Okay, by first boot, the controls are not set up, so go ahead and plug in a keyboard, hit enter, scroll down here, hit A, A, and then uh, hold down the A button on the controller that you have. I'm going to be using an Xbox 360 controller for this. Wired. Where should we start? Right here. ScumVM, one. No ScumVM. Sega 32X, we got 33. Or does it? Okay, cool. Yes, there are video snaps as well. Very nice to see. SG-1000, 68. Super Nintendo, 786. 85, I'm sorry. You have the picture, and then it should go into the video snap here in just a moment. Really nice. This is running the showcase theme. As far as your other themes, you got SNES Mini on here as well, if you want the SNES classic look. Infocom, you have Zork, Amiga, None, Atari 2600, 664, 5200, 81, 7858. A lot of people want to see that 5200 on there. Atari Lynx, 76, Daphne, 29. Now, I don't think it's actually 29. I think some of these just have multiple files. It's about uh, 11 or 12. Dreamcast, wow, 150. A lot of Dreamcast games here, guys. I know a lot of people are going to be excited about this. We'll play a little Dreamcast later in the video. I've made videos in the past of Nintendo 64 and Dreamcast and PSP performance, and I have to say it is so amazing, especially compared to the Pi. It will rock the sock sauce of the Pi. Significant performance increase on the Odroid over the Raspberry Pi, even the Raspberry Pi 1.4. Now the emulator itself is not perfect. You know, for example, in Sonic Adventure 2, people have issues with that. There's some other games that just the emulation has some messed up thing. It's not a processing thing. Final Burn Alpha, 1,500 games. Really nice to see. So there's our video snaps here. Yes, video snaps, no box art. Family computer disk system. Uh, 91, Game Gear 332, Game Boy 861, Intellivision 137, Cody, you got it on there, MAME 921, Sega Master System 344, Sega Mega Drive 901, Nintendo 64 303, so all of them on here. See, there's no reason not to put Nintendo 64 on the Odroid. And Neo Geo 142, Nintendo 865, so this might have some ports on here, or some uh, hacks on here. Port 17, we got Sea Dogs, Cannonball, Cave Story, Doom, Marathon, Zelda, nice. PSP 37, so here's where you can really use the, uh, the PSP and the games. Now I'm not sure how the Final Fantasies work. God of War, this is something I probably wouldn't put on here just because it doesn't run good at all. You might as well delete this game, it does not run. Uh, Gran Turismo, Grand Theft Auto, Guilty Gear, um... Guilty Gear runs, Half Minute Hero, Hot Shots, Little Big Planet, Puzzle Quest, Street Fighter Alpha, Strikers, Wipeout Pure, Worms Open Warfare. So cool to see. You're going to love these PSP games. And then there we are back at RetroPie. Let's go ahead and put on uh, all games and favorites. You just go to Game Collection Settings, turn those on. All right, all games. So it's rocking 8,434 games. You might not think that's a lot. But that's a lot of PSP, Dreamcast, and Nintendo 64 um, eh, that's taken up a lot of space. Something I noticed that's not on here is there is no PlayStation. So the image is shrunk to 169 gigabytes. If you have it on 256, you can uh, expand it. If you have it on a 200 gigabyte, you should also be able to expand it and get an extra 11 gigabytes or so. But as you see right now, it's got about 2 gigabytes left on it. Um, but you can expand that file system very easily. Just go to Raspi Config, Advanced, and uh, Expand File System. That'll free up some space, whatever you have on your SD card. For those wondering if it'll fit or not, it should fit really well. I mean, 169 gigabytes will fit most 200 gigabyte SD cards. The actual image size is 172 gigabytes, and it's at 184,861,168,000 bytes. So it should fit on those no problem whatsoever. To save your Dreamcast controls, go to RetroPie Setup. You should go into here, Configuration and Tools. Press OK. 
write cache. Okay. And configure input for write cache. Where is it? We want to do number three, our generic X pad. Do you want to map an exit button? Yes. Uh, I'm going to do the center button on my Xbox Series. Do you want an A? Yeah, A. Do you want a B? Yeah, we want a B. Give me a D. No. Okay, C, no. D, no. X, yes. X, Y, yes. Y, Y. Do you want a Z? No. Do you want a start button? Yes. We got a start button. Do you want a D-pad 1? Yes. So left on the D-pad, up on the D-pad. Do you want a D-pad 2? No. Do you want a trigger left? Yes. Trigger left. Do you want a trigger pad right? Yes. Trigger pad right. Oh, whoops. Yes. Trigger pad right. Do you want an analog stick? Yes. And your analog stick is in left as far as possible. Uh, up as far as possible. Okay, and then I'm done. Cool. So we hit the uh, center button on my on my controller, and then I'm out. So look at that, super easy. Just uh, test a Game Boy game really quick. See, you know, I believe it's just all stock res on all the systems. You're not going to see any bezels or, yeah, see. Um, let's do a PSP. Should I burn out legends? GL on 2x. Let's try it on 4x. Still runs really good. Yeah, 
stuff. Gotta get a little, uh... And you can even play this up to 6 and X, but I mean 4X is just gorgeous. And uh, as you see, no drops. Just staying right around 30. Let's give Cody a roll. This is something I never really liked about... Wow, look how fast that is. It's something with the pies. The pie is a little laggy on the uh, Cody. And look how fast this is, way quicker. Wow, that's running really good. Full screen, no lag. Pretty good. Go back. Wow. All right, Cody runs great. Nintendo 64. I already did a video on this. I'll put a link in the description if you want to see Nintendo 64. But GoldenEye runs great. A lot of games that you couldn't run on the Pi do run really well on here. So there you have it. <coughs> Mad Little Pixels, 200 gigabyte Odroid. ORA version 1.1 works for the Odroid XU4. It works with the one with the fan or the passive cooling. If you're interested in getting an Odroid, I'll put a link in the description. More and more images are going to be coming out for this. This is beautiful stuff. As you saw, unlocks a lot of the PSP, the Dreamcast, and the Nintendo 64. And then everything else should work just fine. Everything that you've learned in RetroPie, how to set up your controls, everything else should be very similar. So it's very user friendly in those regards. There is no bezels, there's no launch screens. Um, there is background music though, and you can totally edit that in, get it to what you want. So as far as a base, bare image loaded, looking really good. I'm going to have to give this one an A. I mean, I really like that the time was given to give the PSP, the Dreamcast, and the um, and then Tunsley 4. How would I make it better? I would probably add some PlayStation games, um, some, some more options as far as the, um, you know, bezels and the customization. And then just going through all the games, making sure they're working. I know that it was just kind of on there. I think we're going to find some things as we go through it. But uh, as far as getting yourself with an Odroid and getting started, I mean, this is definitely capable, beautiful stuff here. Runs great. Um, can't say that enough. So with all that said, that's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.